Come on, everyone. Bring it live. Turn it up. It's the drop off with DJ C. <laughs> One. Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Check it out right now. Dropoff's back. Beginning of 2012. First interview of the year. I know we're 19 days in. It's whatever. Check it out. Ray Don, Ray Don the 86th up on Twitter. What's going on? What's going, man? Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. First interview of the year. That's what's up, man. <laughs> <laughs> we have... We haven't uh, interviewed anyone Pittsburgh-related since Don Cannon, and that was about a year ago. Oh, wow. Right before uh, the Super Bowl, and he was picking the Steelers. Okay. Yeah. What you drinking? I'm drinking... Some purists might frown upon this, but I'm drinking Hennessy and root beer. <laughs> <laughs> I just, you know, when I'm a bachelor. Whatever's in my fridge, I mix, you know? Pepto Bismol and Ciroc. Right. <laughs> we, got that. we got that. Um, for for those people you know who aren't familiar with you and your work, um, kind of you know give a short rundown. A short rundown. Graduated from college, bachelor's in English, went to law school, did a year, dropped out. It wasn't you know it wasn't my dream. Music was my passion. Uh, that was in Michigan, moved back to Pittsburgh, my hometown, got on the grind heavy for the last three years. Dang. Uh, released two projects last year. Um, it's working hard at Rock's A3C for the last two years in a row. That's the, the biggest hip-hop festival, I would say, in the country. That's in Atlanta annually. Yep. Uh, slated for South by Southwest this year, man. Let's get it cracking. <laughs> okay, so... Uh... At this rate, you know, you're looking for freshman 10 next year. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, you know what I mean? I mean, it would be cool if I get it, but it's not It's not going to be a marker on my success, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I totally understand. Yeah. Um, who, what, I guess, what was the point in time where it was that moment where it was like music, the passion, and aside from everyone, you know, trying to tell you what you need to do, you yeah. just went with it? Um, it's actually, it was during... Uh, one of my finals, my second year law school, uh, one of my professors, she was given kind of this inspirational speech about how uh, she finished her, she got her JD at Northwestern, and it was a really tough time for her because her uh, her mother had passed while she was in school, and Damn. her passion, you know, for for you know just being an attorney uh, just just helped cut you know carry her through. So uh, you know, I mean. Like most rappers, I have materialistic, you know, sides to me. But aside from the condo and the BMW, after I got all that, all that shit out of the way, being an attorney wouldn't be something that I really, you know, would want to be for the rest of my life, man. It's not what they. It's not what it looks like on TV, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of reading, bro. Lots of reading. Like I'm eight uh, hours a day after class. No. That's not that. Well, and then you can walk away from it all. You know, you have something a lot of people don't even have. True. And not only a high school degree, but a college degree. Right. I mean, that right there, you know, you can't walk up to Drake and say, hey, I got something you don't. Right. Because his rebuttal is going to be, I got $30 million. Right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. But, I mean, yeah, the best thing I t- I've honestly have taken away from it was all the contracts knowledge. Like, I took all my contracts classes in the first year, so it wasn't a complete waste, you know? I have no regrets yeah. at all. That's always good. It's, it's good, you know, no regrets. For sure. Um, what would you like to touch base on for your recent projects? You know, people are going to come in, they're going to listen to this, and be like, well, the drop-off, Ray Dawn. What would you recommend they go check out first, you know, kind of a discography verbally? Okay, first I would have them check out... Um, you're not going to know about the two projects unless you mess with me for, uh, you know, for a good while. I'm not going to let anyone yeah. hear those just because I'm an artist. I'm very critical of myself. I hate my last project, you know what I mean? Because I'm always trying to. <laughs> <laughs> and it hasn't even been out a year yet. Um, uh, but I'd have them check out Control Chaos 1. I dropped that with uh, DJ Moondog and the affiliates. He's a DJ in Chicago on WIGR. Or no, yep. w- I'm getting them all mixed up. W- yeah, that's a station in Pittsburgh. Um, WGCI is a station in yeah. Chicago. Um, 
And then the latest project, Control Chaos 2, hosted by SMKA, Rock the Dub, Why Not My Dream, a couple blogs that were the first to hold me down. Um, those two projects, you're going to see kind of just like a, like a plethora of sounds, like nothing cohesive, just me to showcase on what I can do. On the shit that the fans are going to get this year, more cohesive projects, really me finding my niche and just... I got a team of producers now that, you know, tailor made sounds for me and it's a completely different sound, but definitely visit those. Yeah, I mean and and you know, it, it's it's like an ex girlfriend. You kinda gotta get a feel for it. All. Right. Yeah, 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 before you can appreciate the rest of it, yeah. Yeah. For sure. Um the 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 one mixtape cover, I don't know if it's you walking with the gun or if it's Obama, but I was just <laughs> like, damn. Oh, <laughs> that's funny because there's like one day I, I was working. I worked one day at this sushi joint, and the hibachi, the dudes working the hibachi grill, they kept calling me Obama and they kept feeding me uh, sake bombs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Snap. Yeah. Yeah. I ended up going back because I didn't understand the owner wanted me to come back, and his English kind of broken. I thought he didn't want me to come back. But yeah, it was good times. But yeah, I've heard the Obama shit before, but yeah. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that, man. He's got a no. badass wife, best job yeah. in the world. Yep. Um. On top of that, where do you want to be in five years? You know, you're coming with it. Do you want like is there is there a stopping point where you might pull a Jay Z and say, hey, you know what? I don't want to do music. I'd like to chase after this. Five years. I'm not I, trying to put you on the spot. Yeah. No. No. I've I've definitely thought about this yeah. a lot. I honestly, overall goal is to retire. At 40, um, I hope to be doing what Jay Z is. At, the, at his age, I like to be away from the music, um, more focused on my family, um, other endeavors. I like to go overseas, maybe learn how to cook in France professionally. That's one of my passions. Most people don't know about. I love it. Fan of culinary arts, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Let the boy cook. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, it, like to get into philanthropy. Like, I mean, like, yeah. Who's to say? Music is my first love, so. Who's to say what I'm be doing in five years? But I definitely like to expand my horizons. Definitely don't want to be a rap. I definitely don't want to be a rapper at forty. Well, who 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 the fuck knows? <laughs> who the fuck knows? For the ladies out there right now, how old are you? Let them know. <laughs> I'm 29. 29. Yeah. Ray Don, ladies and gentlemen, he's with us right now. Um, be sure to check out the projects he's mentioned. Um, I think he might have some bars written for us. I can't promise that. <laughs> you think? Maybe you feel? Yeah, I might give you guys some. All right. Let's have at it. All right, here, hold on. Let me see. I, should, I was working on some right now. I'll give you a little. This is not even, this is like, this is crazy. Like, this shit, this is like, the next project's already done. This is next project, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's for the project after that project. Exactly. Next project. It's a project. Within a project, within a project. Oh, uh, but I say, Projects. fuck a hating nigga mad cause my name bigger. Little bitchy diva need a snack on my snicker. Go ahead, Fred, subtweet tweet your dilemma, but you cannot knock the champ if you can knock the top contender. I got these niggas on surrender. Every day is Halloween, they looking like pretenders. Quick to sign the shitty deal because these niggas need a lender. I build her from the grounds up, call me fucking emperor. I thick skin, these little babies fucking tender. I got more buzz than a bender. And I'm pretty sure that I'm pure cane and these niggas just splendor. Eh, it's a rough draft, you know, but we'll get into something. <laughs> we'll get into something a little heavier. <laughs> splendor! <laughs> that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. Thanks, man. Perfect, perfect. What... What do you feel, though, the industry is missing? I mean, I'm not talking piracy and the whole ending of Piracy Act, but what do you feel, you know, was once there, but now it, it's a simply a void? The industry right now is missing individualism. And it's coming back. Everything comes back full circle now. A lot of artists, because the, because the record sales are dwindling, because the labels are starting to tap into, you know, other revenues of income, like... Uh, merchandise shows yep. and then seeing seeing cats like uh, Odd Future and cats like Dom Kennedy you know maintain their independence it kind of inspires other people like, honestly like Odd Future I don't really fuck with their music it's cool Tyler the Creator's cool but they inspire like these little young niggas you know they inspire me 
to to remain independent. So yeah, when you when you're independent, you don't have to you know make cookie cutter songs. You know, try to fit whatever singles the labels want you to do. Like Lupe ran into because now they're trying to you know they're giving you records that have already been sold to to other companies for marketing purposes, and you've got to fucking just put this on your record. Um. So yeah, individualism. People are being themselves. That's that's a new one that we've had brought to the table. I like that, and and it's just like everyone becomes a conglomerate. You know, you have Young Money, Maybach Music yeah. Group, and everyone's just like, "Hey, we're all friends. Let's keep pushing our albums back." But man, we're gonna spend money and shit. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. But uh, on the indie topic, you know, Mac, Mac Miller, Odd Future, Dom Kennedy, they're all they're all making it happen. And I think whether you're on Rostrum Records or you got your own gig. It's working. It's so dope, man. I don't want to put a cap on my success, but if I could, if I could make fifty k a year doing what I love, that's cool. Oh, exactly. You know. Yeah. Uh, shit. Yes, wear a fucking rubber. <laughs> <laughs>